So you think you've mastered every inch of GTA 5. I want you to think again. After a decade of chaos in Los Santos, there's still a trove of hidden gems waiting to be discovered, and I guarantee you that there's at least one thing in this video that you didn't know. Perhaps you don't know the seven vehicles that have Kurs Boost. What's the heaviest plane in the game? How about a deep dive into the most diverse car manufacturers in the entire game? Here's 150 more unique and useless facts about the vehicles in GTA 5. Hideaway or pop-up headlights are like none other, adding a special flair to any vehicle. However, in GTA 5, only 12 vehicles have pop-up headlights. They include the Ardent, Futo GTX, Cheetah Classic, Gauntlet Classic Custom, the Infernus Classic, Ruiner 2000, Torero, the Tropos Rally, the Turismo Classic, the Viserys, the ZR350, and the Vigilante. As for hideaway headlights, those belong to a small list of Dukes, including the Beater and Duke of Death, and the Impaler and all three of its variants, as well as the Torero XO, which has a very unique design unlike any other cars in the game. Now this likely isn't a surprise, but every police car in the game has lights and or sirens, as well as the fire truck and ambulance, which is an obvious conclusion anyone can come to. But only six of these vehicles can be owned using conventional methods. The fire truck, the RCV, the Stanier LE Cruiser, the Unmarked Cruiser, the not yet released Hellfire Cruiser, and although it's only available on newer consoles, the Park Ranger can also be owned. But fret not, as there are six other vehicles with lights and or sirens that are not police cars. Those would be the Air Tug, both tow trucks, the Lifeguard SUV, the Boxville, and the Festival Bus. But not all of these can be owned, unfortunately. Now who doesn't like a little extra speed when cruising down the motorway? Sure, there's plenty of types of boosts, from the Rocket Boosts to the Arena Wars Boosts, but the often forgotten Kurs Boost was introduced with Electro in the Heist update almost nine years ago. Other vehicles with this type of boost are the Vindicator, the new Inductor, and the four open wheel cars. However, each of these vehicles regenerates its boost through a different method. In the real world, it is imperative that you wear your seatbelt while driving, but in GTA, it's obvious that that's not a requirement. You also can't legally hang off the side of a moving vehicle. And even in GTA 5, that feature is limited to only 11 vehicles and one airplane. They are the Dodo Seaplane, the Roosevelt and Roosevelt Valor, the Brocade, the Pounder Custom, the Mule Custom, the Police Riot Van, the RCV, every version of the Granger and the Granger 3600LX. You can also hang off the back of the fire truck and the Trash Master. The Insurgent also allows someone to hang off the side, but the Insurgent Custom allows people to sit in the truck's box, which is only available on six vehicles. The Squatty, which comes with a really cool animation getting in the back. The Guardian, the dubs to 6x6, the Bodhi, and the Bison. Finally, the Wasteliner falls into both these categories, allowing you to hang off the side while standing in the box. I would like to apologize that not all of these clips show someone sitting in that exact seat. I don't know enough people to fill these vehicles and Rockstar doesn't make it easy to change seats. Now, if you're an avid pilot in this game, you've likely messed around with the carpet bombing feature on some of your planes and helicopters. However, out of 74 flying vehicles, only 14 have this option. From the Akula, Avenger, the B-11 Strike Force, the Cuban 800, the FH-1 Hunter, the LF Starling, the Mogul, the RM-10 Bumbushka, the Alkanost, the Seabreeze, the Streamer 216, the Tula, the Volatile, and the Rogue, which is one of my least favorite planes. Pop quiz, which of these GTA 5 bikes is the fastest? Based on my research, 71% of you think it's the Hakuchu Drag. However, the Hukuchu Drag is actually one of the slowest vehicles in this group, having a top speed of only 203.58 km an hour, only beating the Shitaro, which tops out at 199 km an hour. The Body 801 surprisingly tops out at 217 km an hour, only taking 6% of the vote. So congratulations to those who got it right over on my community tab, we can find daily quizzes just like this. In the rare chance you haven't learned 
anything new yet. Stay tuned as we'll be talking about the 17 cars that have active spoilers and the most unique and diverse car manufacturers. But first, let's head back to the skies and talk about the heaviest planes in the game that break the laws of gravity just to stay aloft. The Titan, cargo plane, and passenger jet all weigh 38 tons, which is lighter than the Volatol, which is 40 tons. Once again, the Alkanost being the largest plane is also the heaviest at 55.5 tons, which is still lighter than the Rhino tank at 60 tons. On the contrary, all of the lightest planes in the game weigh under 2 tons. Tied for fourth place at 2,000 kilograms are the Dodo, the Duster, the LF Starling, the Mallard, the Mammatus, and the Tula. In second and third, we have the Howard NX25 and the Alpha Z1, which both weigh in at 450. Oh, oh shit, fuck. Oh no. The lightest plane in the game weighs 250 kilograms, and it's the Ultralight Glider, which is really good at gliding. Well, uh, there it goes. I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe. Who doesn't enjoy a good driving experience? A vehicle that hugs the turns and adapts to your driving needs. In GTA 5, the only actively adaptive feature that cars possess is that of an active spoiler. First introduced in the T20, an active spoiler is a spoiler that actively raises, lowers, or tilts based on your speed, acceleration, or braking power. Other vehicles that have this feature include the 10F and 10F widebody, the Comet S2 and S2 Cabrio, the Furia, the Ignis and weaponized Ignis, the Itali GTO Stinger TT, the Itali RSX, the Nero, the Omnis EGT, the Torero XO, the Virtue, and the XA21. The XA Proto has an active spoiler that only works when slowing down or stopping. That makes 16 cars, but add one more to that list, the Hot Ring Hellfire has roof flaps, which in real life help to avoid rollover on race cars when slowing down or spinning out. And these count as an active spoiler in the game files. Out of 23 trailers that are available in GTA 5, and only two of those are ownable by a player. They are the anti-aircraft trailer and the MOC trailer. When it comes to larger trailers like the MOC, only five vehicle models can tow them. The Packer, every variant of the Phantom, both the Hauler and Hauler Custom, the Barrack Semi, and my personal favorite, the Dock Tug, which just looks so cute and derpy when towing big trailers. Conversely, the Chernabog looks ridiculous towing the tiny AA trailer, but it's one of nine vehicles that can tow it. The others are the Sat- wait, is that? No fucking way. I think- I think I found the Ultra- Continuing, the Saddler, Bison, Bobcat XL, Night Shark, Half Track, and the Technical Custom and Insurgent Pickup Custom, though only the custom variants can tow the trailers, not the stock versions, which is what you see here. Finally, the APC is the last vehicle that can tow the anti-aircraft trailer. However, it can also tow it through water, which is interesting to say the least. The Fieldmaster can also tow a trailer, but it can only tow three specific trailers that no other vehicle can. Now before you go commenting, no, the Bodhi cannot tow a trailer, despite having a trailer hitch. You probably already know that Texas Instruments makes graphing calculators, but did you know they also make anti-tank launchers? How about the fact that Honeywell makes refrigerators and one of the world's highest performing quantum computers? Well, GTA 5 car manufacturers are no exception to this either. You probably know that Buckingham makes executive planes and helicopters. However, they also made the Tugboat. Who knew? De Classe, Rockstar's version of Chevy, made the Scramjet, but they also made the original Submersible. Dinka is well known for its smaller cars, so the fact that the Marquis was made on their assembly line is unexpected. However, the fact that GTA's Maserati makes a luxury boat shouldn't be too shocking. Rune only makes one car, one submarine, and one that's almost a bit of both. Pegasi covers all types of vehicles, from numerous Lamborghini replicas, as well as the infamous Oppressor Mark II. So let's keep an eye on what Lamborghini is cooking up in their concept lab, because 
I don't want to be griefed in real life by a flying rocket bike. Whether you're an old or new player, we all know that Rockstar makes a ton of mistakes, but perhaps there are some we aren't fully aware of. Like the fact that Dinka Jester Classic, despite being Rockstar's version of Honda, is clearly a Toyota Super Mark IV. Or that there are two in-game equivalents to John Deere, Stanley and Jack Shep. If you want a full list of every vehicle that Rockstar got completely wrong, consider subscribing because that video is coming soon. In the meantime, check out this playlist for more completely obscure facts about GTA V.